Hi, today we're going to show Mimi Cats, and I'm going to execute this via Empire, which is uh, the C2 or the framework that I'm going to be using in order to remotely execute various commands. Here we actually have a Windows 10 64 bit machine with a VBS script that's going to connect into my Empire box. Here we have it checked in. You can see the agent. I'm going to interact with it and do privilege escalation. Make sure it's connecting to the right listener. And right now, this Windows 10 machine also does not have Sentinel-1 running on it. It is just a base machine. So now, since we've elevated the privileges, we can actually see that this one is elevated with the asterisk next to it. Now we're going to interact with this box. And I'm going to run a fileless one from GitHub to where we should be able to see the password in clear text once it completes the script. All right. So if we scroll back up here, up to the top, here we can actually see the username and password for this account. Windows 10, the username is vladmin. All right, admin, and that's the password. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually install Sentinel-1 and try the same attack. And while that's rebooting, we'll make sure that the agent's checked in, which it has. What I'm going to do now is also move this from the default group over into my test group, which is in detect only. So even though that we are in detect, we still don't allow access to LSAS for Mimikatz to capture the user the, the credentials. Here we have Sentinel agent installed, version 31563. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rerun that same script, making sure that it is in fact in detect mode only so we can actually perform the C2. Otherwise, Sentinel 1 would block even that part from, from initiating. Threat detected, but again, in detect mode, allowing it to happen. And we can even see in the dashboard, yep, there's our script. Now we can see that this one is also in elevated privileges. So we can actually run various things. 
such as the Mimikatz script here. <clears throat> and we should not get any information back like we did with the previous one because it won't allow it to run or even grab that information. And to really show you that it is working, another way that I can go about this is opening up PowerShell, even as administrator, and running that same command locally. We get a threat detected, but you're, they're not going to, the adversary, the bad guy is not going to get any information. And here we can even refresh and we'll see that PowerShell executing that fileless script gets nothing, no data back.